Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi 4, in which we're playing as that beautiful Republic of Bulgaria. Right now, we are doing utmost optimization, and it is 1940, in which Germany, well, they're still trying to fight the French. They just took out the Czechoslovakians, and apparently Mexico just joined the Axis, so... This is very, very weird. We have a lot of political power, though, and we can organize another Balkan summit just so that we can maybe influence Yugoslavia as well as maybe Albania to join us, to join our faction, because we need some more world tension. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. We are democratic, which is cool. But let's go and do this one first. We could inject capital into Greece, but mm, I don't know. We'll see what happens, just because they're guaranteed by, guaranteed by Italy. Now, these guys probably... Oh, they did ally. The Italians did ally with the British. So this is a really, really weird, weird world. Where the Portuguese, the Spanish, the Romanians, and the Turks are all with a common turn. And the Axis is pretty much alone. Fighting the French and Luxembourgs. Look, it's Luxembourgians. So, this is definitely a weird world, to put it lightly. Uh, how many research slots do we have? We have four, actually. We could get more of a naval stuff. We're doing that stuff. We don't have any of that stuff. I guess we can grab some of this. That'd be fine. We've got a couple more divisions, though. Are we mobilizing at all? We are not, which is not good. We can always, of course, invite the French to our alliance, but we'll see what happens. We've got plenty of motorized. Holy cow. We need more artillery, though. Artillery, please. Motorized is looking great. I'd love to go to war economy, but obviously we can't do that. And we're waiting to do utmost optimization to see if these guys get really good upgrades. So, And we have 20 days left. And then next up, we shall have some stuff to do here. But... <clears throat> We gotta get up to 80% world tension and nobody go to war with Yugoslavia or Albania just because I want to unite the Balkans. As much of the Balkans as we can. And I asked you guys about whether we should modernize our economy or industry or do the Agarian Cooperative Movement, which we'll address in a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Cool. We definitely want this one. Unification of the Balkans would be so nice because we do get cores on Romania. I just don't think that we would be able to do too much unless we join another faction ourselves. Even though we already created our own faction, so we're kind of alone. I don't want to fight the allies. I, I don't I don't want to fight the, the common turn by myself. Because that's, that's a little crazy, not going to lie. Still building up some more civilian factories. They're still attacking each other. Is China... Oh, well, there's India. China's still okay because the Japanese are still fighting their war here. Oh, why can't I send volunteers? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold, what is that? Japanese People's Republic is justifying against Yunnan. Good. We got utmost optimization to see what happens with that. And I do want to get down here. So, we need the this focus next for two more military factories and some more stuff. Good. By expanding the state military factory in Kazanlak, we can lay the foundations for a suitable national military industry capable of supplying our army with high-quality equipment. Sounds like a great thing to have. Sounds pretty darn bueno. So, so now we get radar construction speed. Okay, reinforce rate, electronics. This one gets more refining. Fuel gain from refinery, synthetic oil, research speed. This one gives you 10% more construction speed and plus 10% infrastructure and plus 50% industrial research speed. Industrial concerns, more max factories in the state and resource efficiency gain. I like this one. You get more construction speed as well as infrastructure and industrial research speed. That's not bad. I mean, I like all of these, don't get me wrong, but I like this one the most. Let's go and do this one then. So we can build, 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 build as fast as possible. We're going to get 1.46 political power a day. We could go to war and fight the Germans immediately, but getting over there would be pretty tough, and we'd leave us pretty pretty defenseless, actually. Come on, can someone please go to war with each other? National industry is looking pretty darn nice. I like that a lot. Plus 15% construction speed is pretty darn bueno, I'd say. Over here, found this thingy. We get this one eventually after we get, ooh, focusing, or completing the focus Prussia of the Balkans will upgrade this designer, not bad. We do have quite a bit of naval XP too, because we don't have any army XP, which really is just trash. Garbage. But it's April 5th still, 1940. Actually, how, how, oh, what the heck happened here? Improved artillery, that's nice. Better fighters, we might as well. Oh. Yugoslavia is slowly disintegrating and it's doing this stuff. They, they have a lot of democracy support because of us, which is kind of nice. Getting 0 .03 a day, I think. And Albania is about halfway as well. Not bad, not bad. Unfortunately, these guys are, like, deconstructing themselves, which 
I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's not great. What, what what can we do here? Not much. World tension goes down some more. Guys, can, Italy, why are you so peaceful? Go to war with... Well, maybe don't go to war with Greece. Go to war with somebody. Experiences from the Civil War. The Soviets do eventually get to go to war with the Germans eventually. <sighs> why? What is America doing? Are they tank destroyer doctrine? Is anyone going to go to war? This is too. This is way too peaceful. Do I need to go to war with somebody? I hate that we're, we're literally surrounded by, by like the common turn or just these guys. There's nothing we can do. I mean... Uh, it's, it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle right now. Because there's no way I can take out the Allies. I mean, there's no way. Yugoslavia I'd like to take out, but I just want to integrate them. Actually, what if I started justifying on people? I can't, because democracies cannot justify against people who have declared or not raised world tension. Can I justify on anyone else? No, what about the Japanese? India, I doubt it. Oh, he's got a nice little hat. Japan. Other Japan. <sighs> and we can't do that because we need world tension to be 100% and to get to world tension to be higher. We need other people to kill each other off more and more. Now, hopefully the Chinese... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is an ahistorical. So, apparently, these fellas... China's been more reunited because Shaibi San Ma took over as leader. See, Ma Klik took over. They took over China. And actually, do they have cores on the area? They might. Yeah, it looks like they got cores on all the area here. Oh, that's disappointing. Can people please win here? Please, 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 please. Keep fighting, guys. Keep it up. I like that, but... My goodness. Hey, we're building some roads. I like that, though. Uh, let's build up here first and build some roads at the same time. That'd be okay. Actually... Oh, and we almost have this done. So the next thing we shall do... Ooh, land reorganization... We do get more building slots, so that's not too bad. We might want to save that, because every... and every court state, fully controlled by the Republic of Bulgaria, get more building slots. So if we wait until we get other countries into our faction, then that might be better when we can able... or will be able to core everything. But let's do this one. The National Military University has a long history, but its military education has been drastically reduced since the imposition of the Treaty of Neuilly. It is time to finance a project to expand their facilities and encourage enrollment of new cadets, who eventually become successful officers, which gets military experience overall. And a research slot, Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. <sighs> why? why? Why now? Why, 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 why? Oh, do you have an upgrade? Mm, kind of. Reinforce rate, recovery rate, that stuff is okay. You guys looking okay as well. Yeah, we can wait on that stuff. And Albania would be nice. World tension is at 72%. I may just have people go to war with each other just to get stuff kicked off more. Anti-fascist diplomacy takes forever to do. Health fortified area. Oh, no, and focus improved. Computer machines, nice. Let's grab. It's 40. Research. Atomic research. Because more research speed is always nice, right? Can never go wrong with that stuff. We need more artillery and support equipment. Artillery, good. Support equipment, looking okay. And we need more steel. And we need more manpower. We need a lot of things. Oof. Actually, our division's looking... They're looking... Eh, not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. Anything here? Cavalry would be okay. We'll probably grab Mr. Organization. Or Defense. Defense is pretty good. I like Defense. Yes, yeah, we have more Defense. That'll be bueno. Come on, America. Do something. Banned Communism, huh? Wait, which way are they going? Destroying the government. Political violence. Ooh, revive the national... Oh, they went this path. Okay, so they're not going to go... Historical. Interesting. That's fine with me. Just do something here. Unite the Utilize the League. 
That's fine. Come over here. Grab something better. Uh, organization. 8, 10% more defense. Yeah, we're going to need defense. Yeah, definitely going to get, need to get more defense. If we invite them in... There was world tension go up by barely anything, so that's not worth even doing then. Hey, 73% world tension. Nice. Our, the, these guys need to go to war with the Finns eventually. Uh, let's see... Hey, okay. That didn't raise world tension too much. But I'll take it. We'll take it. Invest more in Yugoslavia. Keep pr producing more democratic influences in Yugoslavia. I'm not sure why these guys went to war with those guys, but that actually might draw in these guys to the Allies. But then again, the Allies are just a bunch of fascists now anyways. Field hospitals are nice. Recon would be really nice as well. 41. Land auctions coming along. Naval stuff would not be bad. Fighter stuff. Which way are we going? Carriers? So that means we gotta get some fighters, grab some naval bombers. Just because that's what we're going to put on our ships. America, what are you up to? Hey, the Japanese Republic declared one Yunnan, which raises world tension a little bit more, but they can't really do too much against Yunnan, which doesn't have a port. So I'm not sure why you did that, but okay. Why not? Why not? Keep building, keep building. Hey, Mexico. Yes, Mexico. Yes. Yes, they must have had the uh, world goals against Central America. Oh, they're finally doing Plan of Agua Prieta. Venice. That's weird when you see or read that Venezuela joined the Allies. That's very, very weird. Any good support? Very good. Grab some of this. Regimental combat teams. Yes, please. Uh, Mexico. I'm loving you right now, man. I'm loving Mexico. Please keep going to war. Please keep going to war. Oh, well, look at that. That is disgusting. The Iberian Socialist Union? They, Portugal, what did you do? Anti-fascism. Wait, where is that focus? Oh, it's down here. Top of war goal against the Reich, the British Empire, and Italy. Ooh, I hope they go to war. Latin American communism looks really awesome. Our comrades overseas. Hey, we get a fifth research slot, even though we're only Bulgaria, which is not that big, but that's okay with me. Planes, ships, good, good. We're going to need some cruisers, probably. We could do some air stuff. We could have some more radar, maybe. Why not? Next up, I'm really glad we got that stuff. Land reorganization has got to wait. Ooh, military factory, that's okay. This is not bad. Prussia of the Balkans, I definitely want that one. Not, more non-core manpower. Leader cost goes down, just while Warglow's time goes down. Contract foreign companies. That's not bad to do for now, but let's go ahead and do... That's not bad either. National rail Railway Line, since we do have some infrastructure we want to get to. So the fast and reliable ways to move not only our troops, but also our supplies across the country. Expanding railway lines will be necessary or will improve our logistics capabilities. 78% there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. And they're a puppet of the Soviets. Communism, or communists in the government. Guatemala is gone. Ah, oh, yeah. Red Bulwark in the West. Creates arms production. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, God. Let's get through this. Actually, you know what? Don't even do that one yet. Let's go ahead and... Wait. Hold on. So now that... Oh, my God. Yugoslavia, please, please, please. Oh, don't do that. Invite them in. What? Oh, Italy took a... Oh, ah! Oh, nah. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Do we get all of their states? Albania, against court every Balkan state. Oh, unification of the Balkans. So, the time has come to realize our vision of United and Independent Balkan Federation, in which all citizens are equal and can move freely regardless of origin, culture, or creed. Which is fine with me. I wanted at least Yugoslavia, which should include these guys. They should be democratic. They We all are in the faction together, which is actually really, really cool. We, even Slovenia. Now, it might have been better to wait and do Balkan research cooperation so we can all share some cooperation and stuff, consolidate the third Bulgarian state. We'd get more weekly stability, which is fine, whatever. Fight tyranny would not be bad. Get topple government or, yeah, against major fascist countries in Europe, which we probably want to go to war with Italy eventually. We can't do that one. Obliterate the fascist or the Bolshevik threat, which we can't do because we can't do this stuff, which is fine. 
Free Balkan states, now we good. Balkan Research Cooperative, we'll see what happens. Hey, they sent a white piece. Keep it at 81%, please keep it at 80%, because I don't want it to get any lower. That'd be so bad if it went lower for us. We don't even have a dockyard. I'm trying to research carrier stuff, but we don't have a dockyard. Oh my goodness. What even is this campaign? How are the French doing? Because they're holding off pretty well. Protect the rights of man. Alright, cool, cool. Good luck. Freedom Front, nice. Germany's doing what? Oh god, it's 80%. Oh. I can't just find anybody. Anti fascist diplomacy. My goodness, that takes so long. Please complete this before we can't do this anymore. Come on, come on. Someone else go to war. Mexico, go to war with someone. Please, we d can't lower world tension that way. Okay, El Salvador joined the Allies. Thank you, El Salvador. Thank you. Oh, Canada, why are you Japan? Oh, my goodness. This is a weird world. This is a very weird world. Guys, Royal Tank Regiments. Please, someone kill each other. How? The Soviet focus tree really sucks. Um, okay, so the Allies are, in the end, going to end up fighting. Oh, my goodness. Why did we choose Democracy Path this time? Everyone's in the Allies. Or the common turn. If that's the case, I might just go to war with Germany as well. Like, once we can unify everyone, we might just go to war with Germany, because why not? Everyone's piling up on them. Mm. If I do this, we can save some manpower. We obviously won't have any artillery, but that's okay. We got a little bit more manpower back. Focus way more on artillery now. Go down to two. Let's get one more steal for now from France, because it apparently went fascist. Or maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't go fascist. They're just not communist. They might still go non-aligned. So you never know. And then we'll, we'll go war economy. Come on, eighty-four percent, nice. Germany is holding out still okay. Like I wanted to go to war with Italy, but at this point, I don't know. I will make it though to look like the Soviets will go to war with Poland. I want the Soviets to be allied all together, and them for them for them to fight the Allies, and I'll go to war with whoever will be losing. So, because this is looking a bit too crazy for my uh, liking. Oh yeah, get some dockyards would be good. Bosnia, why is Bosnia here? Who the heck is this? Banovina of Herzegovina. Sure, why not? Sure. Milan Grol. Well, you do that. Integrated rail network looks like a good thing. Get some infrastructure. And how many more days they got? They got 11 days, and then we have... Ooh, they might not be able to finish that before they actually finish that. Hmm. Hmm. Take out the Axis. Unite. Have the Allies and the Commies kill each other. That'd be good. And then hopefully the Commies start winning, or losing, so we can take out the Commies and take out the, Ax the Allies. Which is a bunch of fascists in this timeline, which is so... We get more industry, we get more cores. I mean, this is going to be good. We get some dockyards as well, so we can actually build some carriers. Don't mind if we do. Support equipment, of course, we need more of. You know what, grab one of these as well. We need it. It doesn't matter. We just straight up need it. Hey, we got a dockyard. Right? Did we get a dockyard? Yes, we did. Ah. Oh. Someone declared war on the Brits, huh? Nice. It's only level one anti air, whatever. Nothing there, nothing there, that's fine. Uh let's see, just gonna make that. It's not great, but it'll suffice for now. Okay! Uh, so I was hoping that they would do that before the United and fighting the German Reich, but Italy is influencing our politics, and we've just changed our flag. For a long time, the Italian government has sought to align the path of our countries, and also doesn't try to meddle in the Republic of Bulgaria's politics. Recently, this has intensified as Partito Nacional Fascista started pushing their fascist propaganda with no respect for Bulgarian political traditions. A number of the speeches and other fascist materials are already being distributed to the Bulgarian people.
It seems that even a number of the politicians and other officials are being swayed by the Italian propaganda and have begun advancing for fascism in the Republic of Bulgaria. How dare they? And we've be done that. Cool. Do we get it? We should be able to integrate these guys, right? Hey, there we go. So, the Herzegovinian government has accepted our unification proposals and joined the United Balkan Federation. Former Herzegovinian citizens now become free Balkan citizens. We place our trust in Nikola Mushanov's The Ring of the United Balkans, as well as Drava Banovina, as well as the Banovina of Croatia. Oh, is that it? Is that it? No, no, no. We gotta get more. Bosnia integrated? Cool. Yugoslavian Confederation and Greece. Now that. Look at that. Now we can actually do some stuff, my friends. Oh, I can't wait. This looks like fun. Holy crap, that's a lot of divisions. This is too many divisions for us to really use right now. So, and they're mostly just cavalry. I don't mind the mountaineers. How are these guys looking? Can we convert them to our own mountaineers? I think that'd be better. Oh, we will gain stuff? Wait, hold on. Let's get rid of that for now. Tanks, we'll keep those on. Oh my goodness. Actually, it's not too many templates. This is a lot better than I thought. Let's see. You guys are 16 combo with, which is not bad. Yeah, let's convert them all to Tet. Whatever that is. Cool. Just throw them right there. And I'm going to just... I don't care about the cavalry too much. I suppose we could... Use these guys. More? No, it doesn't look like it. Convert to these guys. We will gain infantry equipment. We'll need more manpower motorized. That's fine. Throw them over there. Hey, not bad. We will need a lot more artillery pieces, but that's okay. This is definitely one way to get a new army going. Uh, 24 is actually pretty good. Not bad. Oh, look at this. Nicolas Plasteras. Oh, heck yeah. Do we get... Oh, it looks like we get all the Balkan leaders. Yes. Yes. Poor little hungry. Now, we don't have claws on him. Oh, I can't justify on them. God dang it. Urgh. Oh man, we're gonna need so much equipment. At least so much artillery. We got quite a few factories too, that's gonna be nice. It's time to get rid of export focus. We gotta go down to limit exports. We gotta go to war somehow, some way. If that's the case. Oh, we also need to do land reorganization, defy Moscow, recover Italian territories. Consolidate this? That would not be bad either. More research speed is not bad. Fight tyranny. I think so. So consolidate the third Bulgarian state. After a long period of social conflict, economic depression, and international disputes, we're finally ready to stabilize and strengthen the third Bulgarian state. Political power, stability, all that good stuff. Unification of the Balkans, a dream comes true. Now we have a lot more places that we have to pretty much guard, which really kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, do that, I guess. Do that. Hmm. We don't have any tanks or anything, so... I guess a stack of 15 would not be bad. Hey, that's not bad, though. That really ain't bad. And we have five research slots? I mean... We could be doing a lot worse. De de democracy is slowly going down every day. Probably, yeah. The fall of Gibraltar significant development. So, this is interesting. The Axis are now fighting the Allies, who are now fighting the common turn. Hmm... I'm going to have you guys stationed up here. I will have you 20 stationed right here. I'll have you guys stationed all... Oh, we did, get, did we get their navies too? Oh, it'd be so good if we did. You guys go right there. And you guys go right there. And you guys go... Sophia, because you can't. Oh my goodness, we actually got a few ships too. These guys are not that great. Submarines. There we go. And subs. And 
gonna change this to something else. It'll be crabby. Crabby. Two crabs. Train. Repair high. Oh, wow, that guy looks pretty good. We'll use him for the other stuff. Do we have a sea wolf here? What is this? Caustic personality? No, it's not good. Uh, these guys are okay. They're not really that great. Gains less experience, but yeah, that's not good. Eh, whatever. Well, it's not great, but it'll have to do. When you unify the Balkans, things are, well, okay to say. Okay. God, I want to get to limited exports. Better radar is nice, though. Even more radar might be really beneficial. Carrier Fighter 2 is good. Nice. There you go. And it's almost 41. You might as well come down here. Get some more output. Even though we could probably use more extraction. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Grab a little bit more steel first. So, who else do we have cores on? We've got cores on this area, which we do need to take out to the Italians. Which means we're finding the Axis, but we got to take out these guys, too. I want to go Germany, though, definitely. We're we missing anything else? We're doing really well, like, now. Like, this stuff is not bad. Ooh, yeah, we get rid of that. You guys are horsies. That's not bad. I'm going to use these garrisons, though. Oh, there goes Honduras. Rename that. Good. Do we have occupied territories? Yes, we do, actually. Oh, yeah, well, not really, but yeah, there you go. And then, no, we'll keep those tanks for now, maybe. This is not bad, either. You know, these guys could really use some field hospitals. Yeah. And do we have enough? We actually have enough artillery for now, but go and do the field hospitals. There you go. Keep training, training, training. Good lord, I just want to get to war. And a war we can win. Not any old war. But I think we're doing okay. The allies are, are not actually doing that great. So, what we might do is end up going to war with the allies first, because they're not doing that well, especially against the French, but they are fighting the Axis. And the German Reich is not trying to kill off Russia yet. Oh my goodness, you're still trying to do anti-fascist diplomacy. Holy cow. Region wide integration would not be too bad. Oh, yeah, we can do this, but we gotta upgrade ourselves first, which is gonna take forever. Do we get. Oh, we didn't get any more guys, did we? That sucks. Plain stuff, air reformer. More XP gain. Not bad. Oh, this guy's pretty good, though. We have to be communist for that. This is back from the Spanish Civil War. So the only guy we can get is more air XP, which is meh. Reformer, we get more naval XP gain. Not really caring about that. Na convoy rating efficiency. We might as well, right? And at least when we be making our carriers, and we have planes, that's gonna be gonna be okay because we actually have fairly okay-ish carriers. There you go. Go and do that on there. That'd be fine. How many things are we making? One, two, three. Not bad. Uh, do that there. Do that there. Do that there. We'll go ahead and build some stuff in Slovenia. There you go. You make three. Not bad. Naval bomber one. Great. Just going for the next naval bombers. Just because we need them. And I want to get those carrier bombers too. So if we can build up roads, that'd be great. What we really need to see is like America going to war with the Soviet Union. That's what we could really use. It's looking great though. Gun wise, I think we're doing pretty darn swell. We can take it off to go to 12, that's fine. Our equipment's doing okay. We need more rubber. Even after we basically unified Yugoslavia, Greece, and Bulgaria together, we only have 100 factories, which is not great. I just don't understand why. Oh, we can invite them to the faction, but France is already in a faction. Why we can't send volunteers? Like, I get it, we're a democracy, but still. Why? I give more naval XP, that's nice. We have enough artillery, let's go and switch these guys out too. Or not switch them out, just throw on some artillery. Now we'll probably have a small deficit of artillery. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. And we're only limited conscription, which is okay. 
Germany, how are you doing? Please go to war with the Soviet Union or something. Oh, they're starting to run out. The Spanish are starting to run out of supplies, as well as the Portuguese. Yeah, even them, yeah. You guys are looking okay. The Brits, though, they're looking okay as well. Mosley doing a, probably a pretty good job, maybe. Begin, re begin rearmament? You're already at war, man. It's almost 41. I wish we knew what the Germans were up to. Oh, wait, they have India and the allies. This is such a weird timeline, I swear to God, man. These focuses have got to go. I mean, this is just pathetic. 210 days for this? Man, come on. Come on. So after that, we will go to war the Germans if possible. We're going to have to fight tyranny. It is time to confront the great European powers that follow war some fascist policies, and whose leaders dream of nothing but expanding their dominions and sub subjugating the world, which would be good that we get war support, which we don't really need. The fight against tyranny, so the division organization goes up, the f more division recovery goes up, you get more attack and defense, and daily fascism, su fascism support goes down by 0.15, which is not bad. Topple government against one, two, three, four-ish, but really three nations, so it's not bad. We can't cancel this as soon as we start it. Fine, I don't care. We can only really get 1.46 political power. Oh, look at that. The third Bulgarian state. Even more weekly stability. I mean, with five research slots, that's better than, I think, the Turks. Oh, look at... Oh, my goodness. Oh, they are fighting the Allies. That's right. So, that's actually sort of intimidating. Ooh. Ooh. I think I might just save this political power up because we want to go to war against fighting tyr tyrannical governments. Italy demands Anatolian... Aren't you fighting each other already? So, I don't think that's really going to work... Italy. J Japan. Son. You've got to finish one war first before you finish another. Don't pull a book out of Germany's, like, playbook. That's not going to work out for you. It is happy 1941, everyone. It's definitely being an interesting year just watching that Luxembourg has got Bigberg back. Wow. People's Republic of Spain. You've got to be out of manpower now. Yeah, they are. The French? Doing okay. Revise. Why are you revising the Constitution now? Does this seem like the right time to revise the Constitution to you? Oh, they went down this way. The Council of Rambouillet. They get more stability for them. Remove disjointed government. More, even more weekly stability is pretty good for them. So they're actually going monarchists. I was not expecting that. They got Henry the Sixth. They can maybe go with Napoleon. Hmm. That's probably the strongest path that they could do. It is 41. We've got regimental combat teams. Go ahead and grab some of this. More tank breakthrough. Cool. And actually, are we producing tanks? We probably don't even have them research. That's right. God dang it. You know what? Keep building up some civilian factories at the same time as your refineries. That'll be good. Ship-wise, we're still looking okay. How is our sh how are our ships doing? Carrier hulls? Well, we we'll be done in 2048. Holy cow! <sighs> Why? More divisions are nice though. Bunch of horsey boys over here, huh? And then some motorized, which is okay. Better radar, grab some more construction speed. You know what, screw some excavation actually first. Because we can extract a little bit more steel, maybe even one more rubber would be delightful. And then we'll, then we'll fight the Germans. Maybe. At least we'll go to war with them. Because my goal is hopefully to maybe get Austria for us. Maybe Austria or even Slovakia. So this way we can have, give a lot of the German territory to the allies, and this way, they can fight an even bigger front against the common turn. Actually, how's the war going between those two guys? The Japanese Civil War is incredibly bloody, especially for regular Japan. The German Luxembourg War, they lost quite a few guys. Wow. But the German French War, over 800,000. Common turn has not really lost that much. The allies have lost quite a few, but. Germany's got to be the one that dies first. It's unfortunate. Hmm. 
Man. Man, oh man. Radar could be proved to be pretty darn useful too, but we don't have enough factories to really use it. We only have 98, Jesus Christ. Okay, you should be done with your focus tree now. Or at least that focus, right? Oh my god, they went from anti-fascist diplomacy to anti-capitalism. That's another 210 days. Why? We still can't figure out what Germany's up to. You guys are revising the constitution, of course. Aero armament. Not sure. Restore a higher education in a time of war. Metropolitan army. China's just... They're having a great time. Japan. Wait, how... Are they getting more fascist influence? What's going on? Superior will. Militarism. No, no. They're pretty uh, fascist for being communist. 0.96? No, it's not going up. Okay, well, you guys. You got some good manpower. You guys have a little bit less, so be it. More divisions are nice. I'll gladly take them. Make us stronger and stronger and stronger, because we will fight the might of the common turn eventually. Uh, so, oh so, my god, that's so many men. And just because we can go to war with the Germans doesn't mean too much, actually, at all. How has Poland managed to stay alive this long? What are the Germans even up to? Did they, they? I'm pretty sure they won't stay with Germany. But, like, no war with the USSR? Or... They did man the Sudan land. I think they, they killed them off, actually. They went to war. They can't do Danzig for Slovakia? Oh, Poland doesn't own Zauli. Danziger War? Did they do that one? Come on, just get to some sort of conflict for us. That'd be so good. So good. Recover Italian territory. We could do that. We could defy Moscow War. Not that crazy yet, though. So we'll do that one. We could do land reorganization, which would be pretty good for getting more building slots, but I think it'd be best if we went down here and got... Oh, look at that! Actually, National Railway Lines actually helps you, or helps us, really, get more infrastructure in other places. That's interesting to see. That's actually pretty interesting. So instead of the, our normal four places, we actually have four more on top of that. So I think that's pretty good. Come on. My goodness. I mean, yeah, I mean, the game is running really slow. <sighs> Just kill each other off more quickly. Oh my god, seriously. I don't know what Paradox has done, but they really made a mess of things. To a degree. Alright, I've already read this, so I'm not going to read this again, but if you'd like to read this, go right ahead. We're just going to go to war, because I, I want to see a little bit of conflict here. They're allied with the Mexicans? Okay, Poland refuses. We're going to go to war, too. Uh, sure, that's fine. Fuel, it is 41... Is there anything we can grab? Maybe better Mountaineers, actually. 41, that's already pretty good. Land Doctrine's coming along. Artillery. Yep. And we can invite to... this point, why not? Who cares? Why not? Cool. Can we actually win if we attack? Oh, no. Who's... It? who's... Oh, the Germans. Okay. They probably want, are doing the, uh, the focus for Yugoslavia. We can't really tell, though. So now the other Germans are literally fighting several different fronts. They join... Why would they join the Allies? If anything, we're going to make sure that Germany is really split up. And it'll be one big old war between the Comintern and, and the Allies. So That'll be the best case scenario for us. All right, so I'm going to push you guys up here. Because, God, I want to go to war with Hungary, but we're a democracy, so we can't just go to war with whoever we want. Or we just cheese and say, just use Collins' commands and do it. But, hey, at least we're at war. Organize a Balkan summit? Yeah, that doesn't really work for us. But at least we're at war. We can go to limited exports. Beautiful. I'm going to war economy. Oh my goodness, this will be so much nicer now. Well, at least hopefully. Go and reorganize the line. Maybe we can. Keep pushing. 
Because even though we're going to be taking quite a few losses, we will raise the conscription level soon-ish. And go to extensive conscription. That's next. Not bad. How much motorized do we have? We have actually quite a bit. Actually, for these guys. Infantry divisions. <sighs> we need to get those field hospitals. Anyone have upgrades? No, but they're doing okay. At least we are at war. We can get a few things here. That'll be so nice. So, 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 so nice. I'd love to throw in artillery, but field hospitals are where it's at first. Keep going, guys. So the Germans are not doing well that well against the Poles. Oh, and the Poles have to find a two-front war because they're fighting the Soviets at the same time. Oh, thank you, America. I love America. Led by Wendell Wilkie. Well, good luck with that. Gotta hope we can push well through here. Yeah, this is gonna be a cluster mess. Do we have any planes we could throw on, maybe? Not that many. Yeah, not even enough for 100 around here. We got enough for... Oh, you guys are looking okay. Even using you guys will do nothing against the Germans, so... Can you actually upgrade yourselves? Yeah, I don't think so. How many men have we lost? We've lost about 21,000. Versus how many? 28,000. So it's kind of a mixed bag right now. So, yeah. I mean, obviously attrition is not going to help us out at all, but whatever. You should be able to win here at least. Come on. Hey, we have a random division? Come on. No, go ahead and wait. Reorganize ourselves a little bit better. Hey, we got Vienna, though. Nice. Hey, they actually, they're 10 out of 10. That's a lot more factories. Not bad. Reorganize ourselves. We're going to need a lot more motorized and support equipment now. You can lower that by two. Lower that by three. Really focus on support companies right now. And grab some more of this. 100%. Thank you. Hey, they, they, they auto join my faction. Why not? Why not? You stop attacking. Please don't lose Vienna. Why? Don't, 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 don't lose Vienna. Vienna is so nice. Why did you lose Vienna? I just said don't lose Vienna. Why? Why? God dang, this is a mess. Germany should not be able to do this any longer. How? I think the Belgians are... They're actually advancing. Okay, there goes those guys. Get enough guns as well. Artillery and support equipment. Naval Bomber 2 is great. Grab some of this next. That would be important. Manpower is looking okay-ish. Oh my goodness. This is such a giant mess. Yeah, they should not be able to survive right here if we attack well enough. Come on, everyone. Keep attacking. You're doing a great job. Don't lose the Netherlands, though. Stop it. What the hell are you doing? Where are these divisions? No! No, I don't care about supply. God, you know what? This is this is such garbage. Keep you guys here. You, you guys do that. Good luck. I'll keep you guys down here. Send you guys south. And you're not you're gonna move. I don't care what happens. You you have to move. Take Salzburg so we can get some supplies in there. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Oh, we've got the Dutchies Indies on our side. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. The Germans are actually doing pretty darn well. Would you look at that? Not bad. Let's 
Supply is still so bad. We lost 35,000 versus 76,000. So we'll double the casualties of them. That's not bad. Stop it, stop it. I want to see the state. The Hoi Ford really needs to fix this. I don't care about the divisions. I just want to see the state. Why can't I see the state? There we go. That's better. Upper Austria. Yeah, definitely fix this. Could be a lot better, though. This could be a lot better. And now they're attacking us like crazy. Come on, Netherlands. We're actually doing pretty well in defense. Better than I thought we would. You guys are doing pretty well over here. We have, we're, have a little bit of attrition because we're moving, but we're holding off pretty okay-like. I'm surprised the Germans are still able to attack. Oh, look at that. The Allies have come in through Portugal. Oh, my goodness. Do we get any sort of experience? Not yet. We only have 25 army XP. What are we missing? Guns are fine. Division-wise... I want to throw in some more support artillery, but we don't have enough. Never have enough of anything. Come on. There you go. Not bad. Hey, at least we hold, held, held the enemy back. That's actually not too bad, then. Why Why do you have so much resistance? Or it's bad supply? No. Okay, then. Give me one of you guys. Come on down here. Alright, let's get some more manpower. That'll be good. Have you guys come down here. Tano Tava. Ta Tano Tava. Tano Tava has been called in as our ally. Germany. You, you gotta be done. I hate to be the Poles right now, though. Oh, my goodness. Mexico is joined. Cool. Okay, you should be able to win right here. Take the two horse boys. Move on in if you can. Take back Vienna. Come on, come on, take Vienna. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. Canceled Lend Lease. Hey, we got some atomic research. That's kind of cool. Got some more construction. One, two, three. Somewhat. Do that one. There you go. Beautiful. We got Vienna back. Awesome. There you go. National Railway Lines, and we shall end on what? Land reorganization? Nice. It is time to carry out an industrial and agrarian reorganization. In accordance with our plans to implement a set of new reforms to strengthen these sectors in the near future. But that's going to end today's episode for us. Let's see, and before we end, we have an intelligence agency, which we shall create and have a good time with in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will smash the German Reich and watch the Allies and the Comintern kill each other. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.